When a person does something wrong to his friend, the minhag is to go and ask him mechila. And although you should ask mechila as soon as you did something wrong throughout the year, but says the Mishnah Bura that you still have time to ask mechila until Erev Yom Kippur. By Erev Yom Kippur, you must reconcile all that you did wrong. Afal pi shegam b'shar yemot ha-shana mechuyav lefayes lemi shepasha negdo, although throughout the year you also have to appease someone you did wrong to. Mikom ha-kom imen lo p'nai v'umamtin, Erev Yom Kippurim mechayev letaken ha-kol. By Erev Yom Kippurim, you must fix everything. The Lashon is appeased, and on that the Chafetz Chaim and the Chazonish say that appeasing means not just asking for Mechila, rather going out of your way to make sure that your friend is appeased. Appeased is in the heart. And therefore, says the Chafetz Chaim, that it's not right to go and ask Mechila from somebody without the act of appeasing, because appeasing gets to the heart and it reconciles that problem. It fixes the pain that the person feels in his heart. Says Rav Eliashiv that when you go to your friend and say, Mechali, please give me forgiveness. And you mevakesh mechila, I'm asking for forgiveness. That's not sufficient. Because if you hurt your friend and you say, ask, give me mechila, that doesn't get to the heart. And it's only lip service. And that doesn't help. Says Rav Eliashiv that if you didn't give mechila to somebody that asked it in such a way, you're not considered achzari. You're not considered cruel for not being mochel, such a thing. And therefore, what is the apius, the appeasement that we're talking about? That's made of two steps. First step is to explain to your friend that you under understand what you did wrong. Just like you do vidui ben adam lamakom. Vidui means, I understand, this is my sins, A, B, C, and I agree and I understand why they're wrong. B, step two, you need to understand that you accept upon yourself not to do it again, just like Kabbalah Latid in Lchot Teshuvah. And so, therefore says, Roshom Zaman Obach, that when you just come to your friend and you ask generally for Mechila, that helps only for minor things that you did wrong. But if you really hurt your friend, it's not enough just to go to him and tell him and ask him general mechila. Rather, you have to go through those steps of explaining that you understand what you did wrong. And with that, you come to step number two, that I wouldn't do it again, and beg your friend for forgiveness in order to appease and get to his heart and uproot the pain that he has and only then you would get mechila from your friend that would be a true and honest mechila.